A local family seeking answers about their child's health issues for the past four years. They are finally getting some answers, but at a steep financial cost. News 2's Mason McLeod has more as eight-year-old Natalie Fow prepares for her sixth surgery. Natalie, unfortunately, doesn't understand what it's like to be your normal child that doesn't go to the hospital. The Fow family first noticed a problem when Natalie was four years old. Her belly would get real big. She'd be in a lot of pain. She just could not use the restroom at all. She was constantly in pain and exhausted. They went to multiple specialists, locally and in other states, but doctors continued to say it's just a behavioral issue. Natalie's parents knew it was something more. You want to help out your kid, but when you keep taking them around through different hospitals, five different hospitals in four years, you just you start to lose a little bit of hope. You, you don't know where else to go from there. Recently, they finally got some answers from the Cincinnati Children's Hospital and a diagnosis of neurogenic bowel and bladder. Her colon is not working the correct way. It gets stuck. It goes through intestinal tract, and once it gets to the colon, everything stops. In an effort to resolve the problem, Natalie will have a spinal surgery on Wednesday. And then we're going back up to Cincinnati and then ultimately into an ileostomy bag with the hopes of within a couple of years that her bowel will rejuvenate itself and maybe by giving it the break that it needs, it will start working on its own again. But four years of medical treatments, surgeries, and travel add up. Natalie's dad works full time at the North Charleston Fire Department, working close to 300 hours in the last two weeks alone. He also has two other part time jobs, and it's not enough to cover the bills. We have good insurance through the fire department, but there's a lot of things that aren't covered. This got to the point where now we know where we're supposed to be, we have answers, and it's real difficult to make that happen. The Fowl family tells me their medical bills in the last four months have surpassed $20,000. They're holding a fundraiser at American Biker next Saturday, August 25th, in partnership with the nonprofit Saltwater Remedies. 100% of the donations at that event will go back to the family for medical expenses. I'll post all of those details online at counton2.com. Macy McLeod, Count On 2.